we are going to look at some of the topics for fixed income uh, that are pertinent to uh, quantitative finance strategy. So I have divided uh, this session into uh, four parts. I'll talk about the risk in fixed income uh, and uh, modeling of fixed income uh, at the end. So before that, a uh, few things that you need to understand in fixed income. Uh, first and foremost is the understanding of yield curve. Uh, there are different theories that define the yield curve, so parallel shift, uh, non-parallel shift and things like that. Uh, some of the questions that are asked are mortgage back securities or other, other uh, collateral debt obligation. So we use the option adjusted prep for anything that could be prepaid because uh, that takes uh, out uh, the option cost of uh, prepayment. Uh, which uh, spread to be used in which security? So we have uh, Z spread, OIS and nominal spread. Uh, then you have binomial model, uh, when you expand the same model you land to Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, there are different types of uh, barbell and uh, bullet strategies that you can take to actually uh, uh, make sure that you have a portfolio that is sensitive to some uh, specific interest rate change. And why do we use swap rates? And when we move ahead, uh, taking this into a type of uh, a portfolio management where you manage a portfolio of fixed income. So when you manage a portfolio of fixed income and you have an active versus a uh, passive portfolio, then there are a few things that you need to take care of. Uh, and uh, the immunization of portfolio where uh, you make your portfolio immune on any uh, changes uh, in the interest rate. So you need to understand different type of risk, uh, uh, key rate duration, duration patching and bond risk exposure, which is more on the non mbs So whenever you look at the effect, uh, you could have uh, interest rate uh, changes uh, in specific uh, non-parallel shift. You can have changes of spread, credit quality, and so on uh, in, in the corporate as well as the sovereign bank, whereas uh, in the MBS you might have optionality. Then when you look at, look at the risk uh, of a fixed income portfolio that you hold where you have to map uh, those risk and factors to find out value at risk, uh, value at risk of a portfolio uh, of fixed income can then be calculated. And there are some structured securities where you have to find out uh, what will happen uh, for the prepayment. So if you have got uh, a structure and uh, uh, you get the interest rate payment, so how does that fill up? So uh, the highest rated bond gets the first payment and uh, it flows down uh, and then it reaches the other one and uh, the equity of the last branch or the support branch uh, generally the bank holds that. When you have uh, all of these you need to look at how to do those things in MATLAB or uh, SAS. Now since MATLAB is uh, easier to handle we can look at some examples of uh, changing yield curve. This will also be an exercise on how things would work because many of these uh, things could not be done on uh, uh, on the financial calculator. So matching a uh, portfolio where you can MBS, making both interest rate part and yield part. And finally, uh, uh, to understand how fixed income uh, portfolio is going to behave, you have to uh, get a uh, little knowledge about economics of fixed income, understanding macroeconomic data, and measuring those activity, uh, the unemployment, and guess uh, uh, what uh, would be the interest rate change uh, using the Taylor's rule where the government is trying to control inflation, unemployment, and GDP at the same time by moving something up and down. So the reference for this study material, I've taken something from CF level uh, 2 and 3 and FRM 1, 2 and MATLAB fixed income toolbox. I hope this was helpful for you. To get more information, you can contact uh, me at uh, info.com.